Hey guys, what's up? We said bye bye to 2017 last yesterday, and we are in the new year of 2018. So yay, everybody! 2018. So hope everybody has a good year. And it's 2018. New stuff begins in the new year. So we have a new project to start, and this is called we're gonna call it digital to analog. This is gonna involve a cassette tape, a boombox, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna basically show you how to, you know, not basically just talk about it a bit. So I wanted for Christmas a cassette play player or a Walkman, you could call it. This is not a Walkman because Walkman's a brand owned by Sony. And um, basically, you know, some of you may have not ever seen this. You may not know what this is, um, what exactly a cassette player is, you know, or a cassette tape. You may not know what this is. Or you may have just found out about it recently in Guardians of the Galaxy. Because I think those really made these a lot. That movie helped with the popularity of the cassette player and the cassette tapes revival. So, cassette tapes, they kind of ended in the 90s. They had their peak in the 80s. 90s, you know, CDs came along. And now CDs are dying, you know? You got the iPhone. It started with the iPod and the iPhone. CDs are dying. But the cassette tape made a revival along with vinyls. I did not mean for that to rhyme. That's not, I really didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it did. And so cassette tapes and vinyls both made a revival. And um, cassette tapes, you can find them in a lot of places. Um, <laughs> Urban Outfitters sell, sells cassette tapes. And you know, if you're into this, you can just, instead of going to Urban Outfitters and buying some cassette tapes, just ask your parents for some of their old ones. And you can experience it. So basically, instead of we have the new kids on the block CD, which is one of the ones we are going to convert to cassette tape, and I'm going to talk about it in a little bit. So basically, what you would do with this is you are going to go on a radio, you're going to put a CD in, and you're going to put this in, and you're going to press record, and it's going to record that song, that album, onto this. So think about that. Okay, with Apple. You have to go buy songs, but with this, you can get really cheap, and you can go on the radio, play a whole thing of songs, you know, the DJ may be talking, you just have to be very quiet, but you will have that whole thing of songs for free. And think about this, things like Freegal, Apple Music, um, you can go on there and you can just like record that. You know what I mean? You can go and you can record that through, you know, well I mean, radio stations, iHeart, you can record that. You can record Sirius XM if you have Sirius XM. Think about that. Think about recording a whole thing of Sirius XM, like a whole like a countdown list or whatever. You can record that, and that's completely free. Like why pay for this song when you can just do this and you have the cassette player? And it's convenient too. I mean, forget about your iPods and your iPhones, and even though nobody uses iPods anymore. Forget about your iPhones basically. Forget about that music on there and just do this and be cheap, you know, and be cool. I mean because cassette tapes, you know, they're trendy now. It's something, a novelty, you know, a hip kind of thing to have. And it's not nobody's going to make fun of you for using this. You're going to say, that's cool you're not using your iPhone. So, yeah, and you see these tapes. You may have not seen one of these tapes before. This is like a, you know what, I'd say there's more of a chance, like, um, more kids would know what a VHS is. This is like a, this looks like a small VHS, but instead of movies, it plays music. <laughs> and a lot of people don't know. A lot of kids, basically, don't know. I'm going to show you how to put that in right there. Don't know what a VHS. Oh, my God. I put it in the wrong. Sorry, guys. A cassette tape or VHS is. Basically, it it played the music instead of a CD or your iPhone. I'm just going to show you what to do, basically, here. Just press play. Hold it down for a second. Have Hank Williams in there. And stop it right back. You open, and it's so funny how many people don't know what a cassette tape or like a VHS is, even though VHS has nothing to do with this. I remember there was this, um, I was making this account for this app, and it was like, when we do an age thing, and it was like, um, what is a VHS tape? And that was its security question. That is a legitimate security question. I thought it was so funny I even posted it. But a lot of people, they don't know what this is, because, you know, CDs, and maybe someday, you know what? It's in. It's gonna happen. We're not gonna know an inevitable. You're not gonna know what a CD is, cause CDs are dying. You got the iPhone. You can plug it into the car. Some cars 
don't even come with a CD player. Okay, they don't even come with CD players, so they're gonna die. These died, like I said, in the 90s, but they're back now. They're back, and they are better than ever, because you can buy... You know, even the other day at um, Urban Outfitters, I saw, like, a most... A really recent album. I saw like, the Taylor Swift Reputation. That's so recent. And you can just get that on a cassette player. So you can see they are making a revival. And the thing is, a lot of times you can find these very cheap. This whole setup here is around $50. And the thing is, you can go into a place. These are so cheap because it's very, um, it's primitive technology now, in a way. And you know, they're very cheap. You can do that instead of an iPhone. I mean, instead of buying a bunch of music. On your iPhone. It was playing because I did that. You know, the set tape in there. So, yeah, guys, you can listen to the radio, pop one of these in, and just record and be cheap and get your music. Or CD, record it on there. Yeah, and the thing is, like I said, you can do Apple Music, you can do Freegal because this connects, it says USB, this will connect with your phone. So, think about that for a second. You can go on Apple Music, you can go on Freegal, and you can just play all this. Freegal has whole albums, it's this free thing you can do. It has whole albums. And you can just put that whole album onto this instead of, you know, keep on listening. And like Apple Music, what do you, what do you want to pay for that subscription? Go on Apple Music, get that free subscription, get all the music you want through this, and get it for free. You never have to have Apple Music again, guys. You never have to stream that music again. You can just plug your phone in. And think about it, I mean, this is, this is convenient. So that's our new project for the new year. I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, who doesn't want, who doesn't like cassette tapes? Cause it just, it feels a lot better than turning on your phone, pressing play on music. Putting this in here feels way better. Like this feels, something about it feels just way better and more satisfying than playing the play button on your phone. Even putting a CD in doesn't feel like this. So we're going back in time, doing it old school and this is the year of the cassette tapes for us. This is such a cheap alternative to going on Apple and buying a bunch of music. I, we all buy music from Apple, but why do I need to do that now? I don't need to buy music from Apple anymore and just do this. Because it's a guy a Christmas gift. <laughs> so, put all your CDs on there, all your Apple music. And if you guys want to start this journey with me of switching, you know, Old school, you can do that too. You can go out and get your set. Like I said, this is all fifty dollars, basically together. Record some of your own tapes. Make a mixtape for you know your family, your loved ones, whoever. Make a mixtape and do that. And um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and ready to start this cassette tape journey with us on Slice of Life. That's a wrap.